For the last few months, there have been reports that have linked UFOs to the Navy. Back in 2007, the Department of Defense began developing a UFO research program, tasked with gathering information regarding unidentified flying objects and conducting research as to the observed aircrafts, their origin and their technological prowess. The research group was quickly budgeted with $22 million in support, and a team of military intelligence officials, researchers and the highest levels of security clearance. The program itself went by the name of the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program, and was given the primary objective of identifying these unidentified flying objects, as to whether or not they are potential threats to national security. It didn't take long for the team to gather a wide variety of strange sighting reports made by pilots from all across the country, including associated data like camera footage, and radar information while attempting to match these sightings with known international aircraft signatures. Expecting to find explanation to these crafts and their origin, after the gathered data was compiled, it became rather obvious that this would not be the case. In fact, many of the researchers involved in the program regarded these UFO sightings and craft as having no earthly origin, and displaying behaviour that could not be explained. This could very well be the closest that the Department of Defence will ever come to admitting the viability of extraterrestrial craft, without directly saying it. Interestingly though, the US Navy has now said they have patents on strange technology. According to these patents, the US Navy is currently working on a compact fusion reactor that will be able to power cities. However, there's another one that caught people's attention, and they said they're creating an internal mass reduction and a hybrid aerospace underwater craft. These have been dubbed the UFO patterns. The war zone was one of the first to break the news, and they said they've even tracked down the person behind the patterns. Dr. Salvatore Serres Pais has worked for the Navy in the Naval Aircraft Warfare Center Aircraft Division. Dr. Pai said the following, The idea is that controlled motion of electric charged matter via accelerated vibration and or accelerated spin subjected to smooth yet rapid acceleration transients would generate extremely high energy, high intensity electromagnetic fields. End quote. Another pattern that caught the attention of UFO researchers was the idea that a new propulsion system could be created, and this in turn would help propel craft underwater at extremely high speeds. There's some who are skeptical about these ideas, and say that as of right now we don't have the tech to bring these ideas to life. However, there's some that have said the Navy already has this kind of tank, and they go by the name of USOs, or Unidentified Submerged Objects. Many people have heard of unidentified flying objects, but many may not be aware of unidentified submerged objects. These are unidentified flying objects that are seen in and around oceans, with some people even claiming that they've seen these crafts enter the water without making a splash. It's not just random people who have reported seeing these crafts either. People in the military have seen these large UFOs enter the water without making a sound and even reported them staying under the water for several hours. It's these types of reports that have caused some to think that there's bases under the oceans, and that these crafts use them and that perhaps they could be part of something much bigger. These USOs are reported to look similar to that of UFOs, and it's caused some to question whether the two are different, or whether normal UFOs have the ability to go underwater without being detected. One person said the following, can you imagine being the people that know about this kind of stuff? It must be really tough going about your everyday life knowing that the people you work for have this crazy tank. End quote. While well, another person said this, I think that they already have this tech and are just slowly releasing it to the masses. I think they know that people are starting to question things more and get closer to the truth. It's not a secret anymore. End quote. Interestingly, this isn't the only news that recently made headlines. According to Haim Eshed, a former Israel space security chief, 
They've made the bold claims that the United States and the Israeli governments have been in contact with a galactic federation of aliens. The post immediately went viral, with people making fun of the claims, while others said this just backs up what they've been saying for years, and this is that the governments have knowledge of aliens, and they've been in contact with them for many years now. Others though were excited by the news, and said that this announcement is actually a test, to see how well people would take to it, and to see if people would start panicking. Escher told daily Israeli newspapers that the US and other top officials are currently in contact with aliens, and have been so for quite some time now. They went on to say that these aliens are part of the Galactic Federation. Eshed isn't just some random person either. He served as the chief of the Israeli space security program for almost 30 years. He went on to say that the Galactic Federation on top officials from our planet have met, and have agreements on researching and learning about the fabric of the universe. Interestingly, Eshed claims that the 45th president of the United States was actually on the verge of releasing this information to the public, going on to say that he thought the public deserved to know the truth about what was going on. According to Eshed though, the president didn't release this information because the alien stopped him, saying that if their existence was told to the general public there would be mass hysteria. Eshed disagreed with these statements and said he thinks the world deserves to know the truth about what's going on. Eshed said that because of how respected he is in his field, his words should be taken seriously. He went on to say the following, If I'd come up with what I'm saying five years ago, I would have been hospitalized. Today, they're already talking differently. I have nothing to lose. I've received my degrees and awards. I am respected in universities abroad, where the trend is also changing." End quote. It's interesting how many officials have come forward in the last few years to talk about unidentified flying objects, and saying that government officials have known about them for several years. This has caused some who are on the fence about this topic to start taking it more seriously. So what do you make of this recent news? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.